Skadoosh, skadoosh! Welcome back to the channel, my ninjas. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. Holy smokes! We have a lot of Corset 2019. Standard Showdown packs here. 20 in all. Big thanks to my boy, Chris Nelson, yet again, coming through with just ridiculous amounts of goodies. Chris, you are the man, my dude. I hope you will get some ridiculous stuff in here. I know you're going to get some nasty stuff in here. There's just, there's too many, there's too many, and uh, the pools are going to be silly. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, these are a lot of fun to open. You can get these by uh, participating in events at your local... Uh, local game store. So make sure you definitely hit up your local game store or your LGS and uh, give them some love for sure. Off rip. Blooming Marsh to start things off. That is just gorgeous. Graveyard Marshall. Oh man. There are so many. There... Let's just do this. <laughs> Island. Uh, Elena Danner. Rhymes with Tanner. Full house. Drover of the Mighty. Cool foil. The foils on this set from Ixalan always look rather uh rather uh faded does anyone agree with that do you, do you think they look faded i think they look faded they definitely look faded for sure so already with a good start with the blooming marsh that's nice to see yes it just rotated out what are you gonna do uh nizal primal tide all up in this with an irrigated farmland on top of it oh man so many good hits Full, or not full art planes. I want to see some full art. They should put full arts in here. Why would they not? I don't get it. Gifted Aetherborn. Nice, nice, uh, really solid pull there uh, with the Uncommon. That's, that's a card that's used in a lot. With Death Touch and Lifelink, the only thing that would make this ridiculous is flying. And that's its, uh, his brother Nighthawk over there. But nice little, uh, nice foil there, man. Oh, my goodness. Also, don't forget to check out the deck text. I just dropped a new one of Elves. Make sure you just go back to the video. Check that out. It's not too shabby. I think you guys will enjoy it. Oh, Canyon Slough. The dual lands. Is that a dual land every single one so far? <coughs> That's nutty. That is nutty, buddy. Canyon Slough. Phyrexian Scriptures. First Mythic. First Mythic, my dude. First Mythic. There she blows. Really cool card. Uh, you put a plus one, plus one counter on up to one target creature. That creature becomes an artifact in addition to its other types. Destroy all, all, all non-artifact creatures. And then it's third uh, saga. Exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards. Really neat. Um, I, good card. I've yet to see it thoroughly abused in the right deck. I, I've been trying in standard, but it's kind of just tough. Okatra's Monument. Legendary Artifact. Another sweet card. Um, oh, yeah, a lot of this stuff did just recently rotate out, but regardless, man, the, you can't go wrong with two foils in every single, uh, every single pack. That's just nutty. That is just nutty. We got the old Siege Gang Commander. That is a solid little hit there, let me tell you. So Siege Gang Commander, followed by a Rushka Pimod Renegade. We'll take it. Cool little elf. Island, all up in it. And a Foil Knight of Grace. I'm glad they put the better foils in here. I really am. Oh, and we got some FNM promos. No way. So, guys, make sure you go to your LGS for sure. These are the kind of promos you can get at your LGS just for participating. Pretty cool. The Boros Challenger and all of its shiners. Sinister Sabotage. That is dirty. Amara, Soul of the Accord. Legendary Creature Elf Relic. Just these full arts look ridiculous. Conclave Tribunal. Can't go wrong with it. Thought Eraser. Era it looks like Erasure. Erasure. Thought Erasure. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you go to your FNM and participate. And uh, you can get cards like these, man. They're really, really neat. And there are limited print runs on those, so for sure. Head up your local game store. Oh, nice. Atrosphere Harvester. You son of a gun. You just rotated out at me. Still a nasty little pool there with the Harvester and the Lifelink. Hazarit the Fervent! Spraying his awesome sauce all over the place. That's a nice one. Can't go wrong with it. So that's two solid mythics so far. Island, all up in it, and a Mirror Image, the Shapeshifter. Wow, there's just so much in here. It's really, a God, it's out of control. It's out of control, man. It is out of control. Soulscar Mage, okay. Soulscar Mage, Human Wizard, digging it. Hour of Devastation is upon us. Whoop, let me just, there we go. Sorry, got a little crazy there. Hour of Devastation. With a Forest from Danny Tanner. And Damping Sphere Foil, wow! Wow, that is a freaking hit right there. 
Holy smokers, man. Uh, Damping Sphere is a great card, but regard that, it, the foil version, seldom seen. It, it's, it's, it's a bit more pricey. Really, really great card. Damping Sphere is nasty. Congrats on that, man. You've been doing phenomenal so far. You have been doing sickly. Sulfur Falls, of course. The duels are back. Sulfur Fall Dual Lands. Ark of Araska. Wow. Talk about two good uh two good land pulls back to back. Ark of Araska is a cool card. Uh you draw a card, activates ability only if you have the city's blessing. I guess that'd be phenomenal in Commander. I don't I guys who play Commander often, I mean that's not my expertise, but is this played a lot? If not, why not? I don't understand. Uh, an island by good old Danny Tanner there, and a veteran motorist. All right, all right. A lot of uncommon foils so far. Kind of surprised by that, I must say. Kind of surprised by that. Surprises around every corner, but nothing dangerous. Pride Sovereign, solid little kitty. So we got the Pride Sovereign right here. We will take that. Along with Gigantosaurus. Surprise it hasn't gone up in value, but I guess I'm not. It's just a 10 den big old dummy. But the way people can use it makes it uh, all the better. Planes by good old Tanner. And a Wind Reader Sphinx foil. All right. Bam! Oh, my gosh. It's draft weekend. So from 10-6 to 10-7, um, during that time, you guys go to your LGS and participate. This is what they're uh, they're, they're giving out. Or you, I think you could, they give out or they or you win it. It's a Fire Minds Research. Really, really cool. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge counter on Fire Minds Research. Reduce, remove two charge counters from Fire Minds Research. Draw a card. Reduce again. Remove five charge counters from Fire Minds Research. It deals five damage to any target. Really, really neat. Definitely make sure you're checking out uh, your LGS for those giveaways. Participate in the events, guys. It's well worth it. Support your local game store. Solemnity. Solemnity. Hello there. Hello, Solemnity. Why can't we open you well? Can you please just slide? Thank you for sliding out properly. So we got Solemnity up in here. Players can't get counters for sure. Vraska's Contempt. Boom! Hit him in the face. Exile target creature or planeswalker. You gain two life. Awesome, awesome pool right there. With a foil forest and a foil isolated chapel. Man, the hits keep coming. I love these standard showdown packs. I really, really do. I can't wait to see what they do with the Guilds of Ravnica ones. But so far, Chris, dude, you are killing it, man. Foil. Isolated. Chapel. Nice pull, man. What do we got here, Bill? What do we got here? Ooh, Gonti Lord of Luxury. You were just replaced with this other card. I think it's a three-drop. Blue and black. Does something very similar. That's a good hit. Scatter Groves. Can't go wrong with that either. And the foil plane, Seafloor Oracle Merfolk. I'm kind of disappointed with the Merfolks. I would have liked to have seen them do better in standard, but they just didn't. No one's really made like a top eight deck with the Merfolks yet. Um, if, uh, and I, there were no Merfolks, right, in Guilds of Ravnica, if I'm not mistaken. Baral, Chief of Awesome. That's pretty cool. Just got rotated out yeah, as well, for sure. So we got Mr. Baral, Chief of Compliance. Drowned Catacomb. Good hit, good hit. Foil Island. Lord of the Accursed Foil. Solid. That is a good uncommon right there. Other zombies, you guys know, zomb other zombies you control get plus one, plus one, and for deuce. All zombies gain menace until end of turn. Really good. Really good. And an Erotic Wound League. So from 10-8... Um, that would be October 8th. You can participate in the league at your LGS. And these are, this is the card you can get. This is the promo. Really, really nice shiner. So again, LGS, guys. LGS. Hit it up. Of course, we're saving the best for last. You already know what happens if you buy a booster box, am I right? If you buy a booster box. So we're getting to that. Uh, scrap Heap scoundrel, scoundrel. I'm so sick of that card, honest to God. It's a great card, but I'm just sick of it. Regal Caracal. Solid again. Swampy foil with a long tusk cub. All up in it. Long tusk cub foil. Pretty neat. We are down to like eight packs. Oh my gosh. This has been a lot of fun though. I don't think I've ever opened this many standard showdown in one video. I think eight or nine was the most. Goblin Chain Whirl or after a dust of dawn. Goblin Chain Whirl is right now a staple in standard. You see it everywhere. And for good reasons. Plains foil and a flood of recollections uncommon. Pretty good, my dude. Pretty good. I, yeah, again, I'm glad they don't... Oh! Oh, I got I got crazy. I'm sorry. I thought that was severe. 
We get a little out of hand here sometimes. Oh, that's a very glad to see you. I haven't seen any planeswalkers yet. What's up with that? Authority of the Councils and uh, Foil Mountain with a Foil Steel Leaf Champion. That is sweet. Another solid pull, my man. Where are the planeswalkers? The planeswalkers are hiding. Ridiculous. Cabal Stronghold. Saw less play than I imagined. Followed by a Dragon's Horde. Really good for dragons and uh, ramping them up and all that good stuff and draw ability. Swamp Foil. Oath of Tefiri Foil. Why do I keep seeing Oath and thinking it's a Tefiri? <laughs> Ridiculous. I hope you do get something stupid like that in these. That would be awesome. That would really, that would really make your day. It would make my day as well. It would be freaking amazing. So we got a Planeswalker. We were asking for him. Ask you shall receive. Yaya Ballard right there. Not too shabby. And we got something nasty in the back. Yaya Ballard with a Sarkin's Unsealing. Pretty cool card. Seen that in a few decks. Foil Swamp. Isolate Foil. I like that. I do like that. Like Eventually, this card will go up. I swear. Eventually, it'll go up. Foil. Impervious Great Worm. So if you purchase a booster box from the LGS, you are going to get one of these, which is just out of, out of this world. Uh, Convoke. 1616 uh, indestructible to 10 drop so again yeah, I mean, definitely do it it's worth it purchase from your lgs support them and you get something cool it's the only way to get them um unless you know then you get lgs's that are shady and they go and sell all their crap on ebay that they're supposed to give away to people which shame on them but what are you gonna do uh concealed courtyard amazing tetsamak primal death i've yet to put that in a deck unreal Foil Mountain and a Daring Buccaneer foil. Pretty sweet. Pretty freaking sweet. Come on, can we get another Planeswalker? Would that that be sweet? Can we get can we just get one more Planeswalker? Will the good Lord Oh the good Lord has blessed us with another P Walker. Holy smokes. Yeah, I am Ballard. See, that's how things work here, I'm telling you. Nice, man. Nice. Uh confiscation coop. All up in it. Forest foil, followed by a vine mare foil. That's a nice foil uncommon right there. I'll tell you what, boy. I'll tell you what. Down to two packs to crack. Oh, man. We got the Dragon Skull Summit. Dragon Skull Summit with a glint sleeve siphoner. Pretty cool. Foil mountain. And another foil isolate. Go figure, huh? Hang on to those, hang on to those foil isolates. I, I, have, I have hope. For them to go up in value. Last pack, starting off good with a Rip Jaw Raptor. That's good. Apex of Power. This card should go up in value. I'm assuming it will. Um, with that other card, it can combo it nicely. Apex of Power is pretty sweet. Foil Swampy. Powder's like striking. Boom! Hits him with the powder! Woo! My goodness, man. Bantu's Last Reckoning, foil at the end. Way to go out, man. Way to go out. Please, guys, smash, smash the thumbs up button. Uh, if not for me, for Chris for doing this, because, uh, man, he really provides the greatest content. Also, make sure you check out that booster box we opened. We opened a booster box of uh, Time Spiral, sealed. I think it's the only one on, on YouTube that was ever opened. So make sure you go back and check out those videos. I'll put a, a link in the description for that, or uh, a link in the uh, yeah at the end screen here. Bam. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. As always, PLA.